Hi right, guys, a bit later than promised, but it's here. Lockdown three, all that bollocks. At least we're like a fish. Uh, little video just on rig storage because I said you know I do one. Uh, got a few bits here just to show you. As, as we all know, there's winder boxes. See, there's the one from Innova. Fantastic. Love the little hole where you put the you swivel to start winding on so you don't have to hold it. That's a great thing, that. Nice, easy lock and open. Look at that, yep, see? Brand name on it. Again, like I say, I love that little hole. Absolutely fantastic. And obviously, inside the pack, you get your winders, rig pins to clip your end on. And you also get some sticky labels to write on if you like that. But what I tend to do is sometimes I buy my winders in colours. And then I've got set rigs that go on set colours. Because I generally only use a handful of different types of rigs. But look, yeah, locks. Even put a padlock on there if you want. That's one of them. Next one. We all know the, the Tronics ones. Again, probably the, the first one of the first ones to come out with these winders. If not the first, I'm, I'm not 100%. Because, yeah. There you go. Again, branding. It's not got that little thing, but if you hold it, spin round. Lots of different rigs. Again, fit 20 in that, or you can get a bigger box for the bigger winders. There's a bigger winder. Fantastic. Overlapping. Clips on. Very safe, pretty much waterproof, like most of them are. Again, from Tronics Pro, come up with these these slightly newer ones, where it's it's almost like you know one of them spool tubes that you used to have, you know where you hold your spools for um, snud, snoods and shock leaders and stuff like it keeps the spools. Pretty much the same, but maybe slightly smaller. And again, Tronics Pro's, you get little pins in there you get a set of things and it all velcros up like that these not as waterproof as you know with that but generally i prefer these because it takes up a lot less room and because it's material it it sort of fits nicely and you can crush it up a bit and big lumpy boxes in there sometimes don't quite do it but yeah fit 10 in that that one's got 20, it's that little bit bigger, but you know, you get two of them together, 20 rigs, slightly smaller space than the box, fair enough, it's not as waterproof, but if it's raining and that, you're not going to sit there with your box open, are you, or your bag, and that, less space, because we know, we all like to take the kitchen sink with us as well, don't we? Alright, moving on, yeah, I know, tell me about it, I've got a problem, haven't I? Uh, the Takana run brilliant overlapped clips in very secure very safe and these these ones see branded and you can put your own details on that with a pen probably washes off I've, I've never done that because I've never wrote on them so I don't 100% know that but these these are nice because they're nice and deep you know, you get a good thing in there, so when you're putting them in, it's brilliant. Like you say, standard, a lot of them carry 15. The Takana ones do do these in the 15. Or is it 16? Two, four, 15. And they do one in a bigger, I think it's 30 or 31 rigs. So that's, you know, that'd be like a full size of your, your box if you've got one of the old team boxes, not one of the beta boxes. Oh well, yeah, they're good as well. They've got the overlapping and everything. And if you look on the, the website, the Takana website, you know, like with your um, your hangover over, over your boxes, you've got like a little hangover tray that you've got the clips that hang over. Takana do do some like little button nubs things and they are, I think they, they are marked. So yeah, there is sort of a, a thing. You measure it up, mark it up, and clip, 
and you can hang it on the outside of your box so you've got more room to put spare waterproofs blah blah whatever whatever else you want in in your box that'll stand on the outside pretty nifty idea that isn't it really on the outside uh all these ones are ranging in prices from around sort of 10 pounds yeah with all the winders in and that up to about 20 i think the the big one from Takana is a bit more pricey but 30 rigs it holds twice if not more than the others uh yeah you've also got a I've let myself down. I can't find, and that just goes to prove what a tart I am. I can't find my, um, you know, the Ian Gold's envelope ones. Another rig storage. Where you just wrap the rig around your hand and you slide it into a little envelope. Seal shut. Perfectly dry. Keeps and dry. Keeps it everything nice, you know, in, in a thing. And with it being sort of flat, boom. Sits very nicely in a box or a little bag. Or if you're going low water fishing down front of your waders uh yeah there's that uh like i said the old spool spool tube things you know for your line spools you can get a couple of them stick them in there on the winders and on the winders as well of course you can buy there's different shapes sort of winders i prefer the what the the round ones because with these square ones angled ones you tend to get sort of kinks and you know being a tart don't like kinks i like the band though uh and as well right yeah and this is one for uh any of you for any of you cheapskates out there um i recent well last year or so going low water you know and having to walk out a bit free or if you're walking any sort of distance or on boats or something like that and you just want a couple of rigs made up for the day and you think a bit of the old pipe lagging cut it to any length you want see yeah, little small ones so you can hold one or two rigs on three rigs you know you're going low water fishing you know you're not going to lose much tackle one of them ah pocket wherever and you can go up to a, a longer length However long you want it. One for the ladies. We like it a bit longer. Some of them go for girth, some of them length. Yeah, sorry about that. Distracted. Uh, and then, you know, there's the pre-raid pre rigs. Some come on. The small ones, like the winders, are all sizes. They're all good. Uh, by far the cheapest one I've seen is probably the old pipe lagging. Any hardware shop, you can get a metre length of it for a quid something, couple of pence over a quid. Plenty enough if you're on a budget. Or I just make rigs, I've got loads of things because, you know, buy them and, well, back in lockdown, aren't we? We can fish, but, you know, you get a bit bored. Make a few rigs, make a few rigs. Keep your local tackle shops running. You know, in these hard times when they're not allowed to open and things. You but you're getting fifteen, ten, fifteen, twenty pounds worth of rig components. A couple of us lads doing that each day. Keeps them ticking. Keeps staffing jobs, which is important this you know, with all this going on. We've just gotta we've gotta support local, haven't we? You know? So yeah, support your local tackle shops. Like you say, you can never have too much fishing gear. Mm, never. I've, 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 I don't need anything. It's not a case of needing, is it? It's the old magpie in us. Ooh, shiny. You get one. So, yeah. I'll end on. Keep yourself safe, guys. Absolute must. Just keep yourself safe. And if you are going fishing, keep your distance, Yeah. Don't ruin it for the rest of us by getting in together in big old clumps and groups. Travel their separate cars, meet up, and you can talk. Talk from a few metres away, can't you? Get out fishing, get out in the fresh air, and stay away from every bugger. That's all I've got to say. But first and foremost, just stay safe. 
See you later, chaps. Bye, and keep it kissed. Simple.